Hey everybody, it's Basic Sorgonomics for March 24th, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. You can find all this stuff at sorgatron.com. And please sign up for my newsletter over there. The creator's newsletter has been reborn. It's something I kind of started a few years ago. It fell out and it didn't get as much traction as I hoped. But I have a new gusto for this. I have a new strategy. I've been talking to a lot of people about these strategies and kind of, uh, uh, I guess, for lack of a better word, funneling. Uh, people in towards a direction of stuff you want to sell via podcasting and education and stuff. So I've been really kind of working on that strategy uh, myself. And um, this is where I tell you exactly how I'm marketing you for this podcast <laughs> as I discover a place for this. Um, so, no, but, but generally, this is going to talk about uh, newsletter strategy and, and at least how I'm kind of interpreting and adopting it. So this is the story so far previously on sorgatron.com um so i've had a newsletter for a while it's been running at sorgatronmedia.com i have um a a wrestling digital download slash dvd store for indie wrestling the guys from international wrestling cartel renegade wrestling alliance uh, vicious outcast wrestling prime wrestling and all the documentaries we've done with Finding Zach Gowan, Montreal Theory, stuff like that. So I have this, this, this store here, right? And it's always been just a kind of a, a part of SorgatronMedia.com. Now, a part of that is I do have uh, PittsburghWrestling.com and IndieWrestling.us. And the more and more I'm coming to the conclusion, and I think I want to work on this as soon as I can, as soon as I find the time for it. Um, I'm going to be hopefully splitting those out so they become an independent site, at least together. Uh, Pittsburgh Wrestling Indie Wrestling is going to be one site, basically. And then the Sorgatron Media stuff is happening over here. Because I'm finding I have my wrestling audience, and then I have the audience that maybe is interested in everything else. And one thing that concerns me is I'm afraid that... Uh, I don't want to hide the wrestling... But I'm afraid that the overabundance of wrestling emails and ads and, and podcasts may dissuade people from the other content. Because um, I think people may think that I do wrestling and that's it. And that's not, I mean, this is, I want to diversify. I've always wanted to be diversified. We're doing the wrestling over here. We're doing this other stuff over here. We're doing teaching over here. Um, so I'm kind of restructuring and refortifying those beliefs of this company. I need to write my manifesto. I know Cindy Kolosky. I, this will be part of it, I think. Uh, <laughs> um, one of them will be, I am not ashamed of my pro wrestling work and addictions. Um, sorry, the Refresh Pittsburgh. Go check out the podcast from last week on Refresh Pittsburgh if you want to know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyways, so I'm taking that. Uh, now, we we have a, a, I guess, respectable, as far as newsletters go, but we've been, I'm doing a lot of work, taking uh, sign-ups to, to wrestling shows that we do usually twice a month, um, if not more, some, more or less sometimes, and, and, and offering things to get people to sign up for it and, and to the point where we're getting, giving away a free show, a free digital download. I've been trying to change that every so often. I'm way late on doing that lately. Um, and people have been signing up. We have a respectable-ish, I guess, 93 people that I sent a newsletter out to. And that's 93 people that directly asked for it and get a, hey, we got a sale this week. Hey, here's the new release this week. Etc. Etc. Now we've also been sending them. Um, oh, hey, Sawtooth, uh, Sawtooth, Willie Birchit is a new thing that we have going on. Hey, these are the podcasts from the week, and it's all the podcasts. It's not just the wrestling ones. It's awesome casts, Journal of Lifestyle Medicine. It's an interesting mix, right? And and part of me says like, well, okay, well, we're exposing those wrestling fans over to this stuff over here. But now I want to kind of promote stuff more specifically for a different mindset of people. And as I'm looking at things like working with practitioners, working with other people, trying to uh, sell... I hate putting it this way because I, I consider myself a bad salesman, you know, uh, sell myself as a podcast educator and, and social media and, and just because I, I feel like that might be a, a big direction to go here um, and just spreading this knowledge as I do through podcasts. And I have some other ideas on that that will probably mean launching more podcasts, but I got a good idea and I think I have a friend to help me. Um, but um so so I wanted to split that, and it's been a while. I already had this list. It's got three or four people on it, um, but I'm going to start marketing the list to market other things, if that makes sense. Again, this is me kind of wrapping my head around email marketing um, for this new era. I've never been 
big into it. We I, I run off and on again as we let people come and go. Uh, I have been in and on and again, off again, a part of the uh, a newsletter strategy for one of my clients back on again, which has me more thinking about this and how to best utilize this. Um, them, it's easy. They have events every so often. They have a big conference coming up in May. So it's like, hey guys, here's this conference. And it's really just rallying people up for content. Whereas this is mostly, well, the content's already being made. Here I am, guys. The con, uh, you know, everybody's involved in the content as it is for the, the podcast and for Insert Coin to begin and, and, and everything. So, I don't have a problem finding content. I don't think I need specific content. It's more a, hey, let's see what's going on there. Now, I will do this. Uh, actually, we'll get into that in a moment. So, I mean, so what are we doing so far? Like I say, here, like, just as an example for this week, uh, I'm trying to do a WrestleMania kind of uh, sale slash feature thing where I went through our catalog and found, like, you know, people in our catalog. We have uh, Corey Graves, formerly starting James Keenan, who's currently, of course, announcing there with uh, WWE. Mick Foley, who's, of course, been all around WrestleMania. Uh, Matt Hardy, of course, and, and a whole bunch of other names and legends and Hall of Famers. Larry Zabisco, Kevin Nash. Oh, well, Kevin, Kevin Nash coming up, of course. But um, but I think it's uh, it's really cool to be like, hey, look, this is what we have. It's kind of unearth unearthing this this back catalog that we have, and uh, and let people know about that, and it also lets people know about uh, new releases, for instance. Um, you know, as we go, a, a wrestling show's coming up. I'm trying to promote the shows of the people that we're selling DVDs for. Um, and I know, and I think most of the signups are pretty local. But you know, not only am I promoting the shows, I'm also saying, oh, and here's some DVDs from these people. So it's kind of wrapping it all up. So like, oh, they're cool. They're doing a show, which means in most cases, within a week after that show, hey, there'll be a new DVD release. And again, kind of training people for that too. Um, having, I don't know, a marketing Pavlovian response, I guess, you know, they get that email, uh, this week, uh, you know, they'll be getting an email for March the victory, uh, 2015 that's coming up with the renegade wrestling Alliance, RWA live.com. Um, but they will know because we're pretty much like clockwork around here. There's usually a digital download for you to buy for under $10 by Wednesday after that show, because of the way we do things. Okay. Uh, and we get to do that kind of stuff, and we can do fun stuff, and then then we can promote alongside that the podcast, which the podcast then also promotes the newsletter, which also promotes the wrestling. So there's a revenue connection now with my podcast going back there, and and everything I've done since the advent of Sorgatron Media as its own independent en entity, every podcast I do maybe starts as an experiment, but turns into a I'm hoping to funnel people back into these things, you know. Um, now, some conversations I have are like, how do you do that in a more in, in interesting way? I And I've talked about before, like some of these people that have, I do this podcast, check this out. By the way, go to my podcasting boot camp, go get my PDF, da 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 da. Um, and I haven't figured out a way to do that, well, until I think I'm figuring out a way to do it. It doesn't feel so smarmy and slimy. Does that make sense? Because um, I don't want to be that big over your head advertiser guy i want I, I want the content to speak for itself i want you to to be able to listen to any of these shows to a point and enjoy the show even if you don't go to pittsburghwrestling.com sign up for newsletter sorgatron.com you know i mean stuff like that and this kind of turns into its own kind of integrative ad now i think about it hmm. is that a is that like paid content i don't know I'm not paying myself, that's for sure. Um, but anyways, <laughs> but now we can kind of roll into that and I can kind of build up a list for the and also kind of crowd, which is the, the other things. And maybe at some point we split out something out that the gaming's its own thing, that the that the social media education is, is its own thing. So what I did was I, I resurrected the creator's news list, uh, newsletter and yeah, oh God, I got a better header for that. That font is ridiculous. Um, but really it's like I, I tried to, and this was a preview actually I sent. I got a little note here for the people on the wrestling list letting them know this is what's happening. Please go sign up over here if you're interested in that. Guess how many people are interested in that? Um, 
<laughs> and I had a little write up from from my, by myself, and I think I'm going to stick with this. And this becomes again, I, you know, obviously, Sorgatron.com is turned from a blog to a place where a video blog lives. I'm going long on this one today, guys. Sorry, uh, a place where a video blog lives. But now I have a reason because I gotta write. I can't just put a video in a newsletter, right? I need something more passive for people, not passive, but more in engaging in that respect. Uh, for me, people to be able to check out. So I think I am going to just, you know, every Friday, let's hope my schedule holds up for this thing. Uh, every Friday, I'm going to write up something here and let people know what's going on. And then, boom, top of the top of the list, of course, you know, I'm doing a podcasting talk coming up. I am going to have some other educational opportunities coming up in, in, the, in the future. Um, so this is something that I can, this fits. This fits here, you know, because uh, it is that more open thing. And then I can feature things more like this show, Basic Sorgonomics, like the mini shows. I can say, hey, we did a lot of crap this week. This is what I like from what we did this week. This is what I think is the best of the best. Last week, I talked about the Boss Isn't Your Friend episode we did on here. Uh, please go check that out. I, I've been getting uh, some really good uh, re response to that. We talked about that virtual reality room on, on Mini Awesome Cast, and I'm super, that's super awesome. We talked about the awesome dad cast we had of Doug Dirt of Should I Drink That and Chilla. Um, and my awesome talk with Pedro DeLuca is one of my favorite people in indie wrestling uh, that I get to work with uh, on a regular basis. I'm so sad that he's leaving in June. Um, if you want to, you know, one of those, if you want to see, you know, why are we passionate about pro wrestling? Like, that is a really good talk. Uh, you know, maybe the top four or whatever, you know, I uh, kind of suss out those details. But, um, you know, I, it gets to be something a little better. And we're still going to do the weekend podcasting, but it's going to be mostly everything not wrestling. The wrestling's going to trickle in, I'll be honest. But I don't want the wrestling to be like wrestling first. And by the way, here's the other stuff because I. You can then you can sign up to the newsletter over there if you want the wrestling stuff. The wrestling has become its own entity. If you go to wrestlingmayhemshow.com, there's a list of everything from like, like the last so and so posts, and we have filled that page mostly because these 30 days of WrestleMania I've been doing with content, with almost daily content, and it's tremendous. And it's amazing what happens when you have regular content. And uh, we've had weekly content for the longest time, of course, for all these shows. But on a site like that, to have the little bits we're doing, like this, like the May Mayhem Minute, like the Mini Awesome Cast, and people have a reason to come back, which means they have a reason to see those ads on the side and maybe go along and buy a DVD from PittsburghWrestling.com or sign up for your newsletter or do this or do that. It's it's. It's great. It, it, you know, it, it's 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 a reason. It it gets people interested. You need to give people a reason to be interested in you. And by never shutting up, could be a strategy. Um, that's the strategy I'm going with for now. Hence, three podcasts a day, four days a week, plus everything we do on Tuesday, plus whatever else, right? Um, plus recording everything I do, plus everybody joining me here on Meerkat. Hi, guys. Hi, six of you watching. This is the best meerkat because it's not somebody on the other side on Skype or something. So it's just me talking. So this is really kind of a nice side of view of doing a YouTube live like we usually do on Tuesday nights. Anyways, so won't you do me a favor if you're listening to this? <laughs> <laughs> go over to Sorgatron.com if you want to see exactly what I'm talking about. Go through the archives. Oh, other thing I'm playing with, and I'm so over time, but I don't care. Uh, MailChimp Snap is this app we, they got now, um, where you can just make a small email on your phone. I did a real quick one over the weekend. Please let me know if it gets annoying. Um, I'm trying not to do it too, too, too much, but I'm really big on the behind the scenes, meerkatting stuff, doing that. I'm always, if I'm doing a production, I'm sitting back and watching somebody on a green screen, I make a, an Instagram video, a Snapchat, a Twitter video, take pictures, put them across all those platforms. I am making sure it's covered meerkatting you know everything um and i think one of them's going to be hey check out this thing we did look for it this week on sorgatronmedia.com it's what i'm doing with that and in that case it was for the movie draft network which is uh coming up here uh hopefully i think he said he was going to launch today i hope that or no yesterday i should check in with him on that he's a busy guy he's got a kid he's a family all that kind of stuff uh he's got the 1.5 kids going on so there's that anyways but that's all i got for today I was more than what I have for today. Uh, let me know your thoughts on, are, are you operating a newsletter? How do you, what's your strategies for that? Um, am I insane in my ideas with it? You know, let me know. Uh, love some feedback. Love to get your ideas. Love to get a conversation going about 
newsletter marketing. What is the place these days? How many things I've read? It's like, you gotta have a newsletter, you gotta have a newsletter, you gotta have a newsletter. Like, no matter what, YouTube videos, there's a, a, a one that I I feel embarrassed saying that I watch every once in a while, Sexy Savvy Social. Um, but uh, but good tips in there, actually. Um, but uh, but it's always like, oh, no, you don't do a YouTube video to get subscribers. You do a YouTube video on a regular basis to get people on your newsletter list where you can actually do something with that and um, and have those people to advertise to it, I guess, for the most part. So that's that. Let me know what you think. Sorgatron.com. Comments to this video. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitter. It's probably the best way to converse with me, and it keeps it nice and stored. Hit me up on Facebook as well. Uh, Michael Sorg on there on uh, this video of, of course also be shared on Sorgatron Media on the page over there on Facebook. So until next time, uh, oh hey, join us if you're joining us here on Tuesday live.sorgatronmedia.com from 5:30 p.m. till midnight. We go strong all night long. It is podcast day in the studios, and uh, we'll see you next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.